Joseph Cipriano, and today our patient here, um, she's been doing a lot of long distance traveling mm -hmm. and literally just has tightness, okay. soreness, a little bit of pain all over, um, nothing in particular. She did, well, she did tell me a little bit with her shoulder, so. um, but in general, it's just an all over soreness. Mm -hmm. Um, did I miss anything with that? No, that's perfect. Okay, she's all over tight. I'm this. just tight from the drive. Okay, so what I'm going to be doing here today, we're going to be doing a, a full spine, full body adjustment. We're going to go from head to toe. We want to check everything out. So first off, I'm going to have you lay face down for me. Okay, so if you want to come on in. First thing I always like to do is we're gonna go through and we're gonna check the leg length here. So bring it up a little bit. So we've got this right leg here. Mm -hmm. That right leg is longer than the left. So that's one thing that we are gonna focus on. We're gonna make sure and just check the hips, check everything going all the way up. When I scan your body going all the way up here, if you wanna look, everything is rotated off to the right. So if you were to come up and take this shot here, you notice everything going to the right like that. Okay, so I'm starting down by the sacrum and that lumbar spine, and I'm feeling over that left SI joint and that right SI joint. So the left SI joint, I feel a little bit of the edema, a little bit of uh, squishiness, little joint play in that area. So those are things that I know when I'm, when I'm going up and down through the spine. So as I'm still going up, we're going through, we're moving each segment, just checking the joint play at all the different segments here. Okay. So I'm really noticing in this mid back here, it almost feels like a, like a little divot that goes in. It's just, Simple subluxations that are going on right throughout this mid thoracic spine here. And then from that mid thoracic, we're going up to the upper thoracic. And then here we have that cervical thoracic junction, that C7 T1. So I know with her, she actually holds quite a bit of issues, a little, a little bit of tension right through this area. Today I'm noticing actually a little bit more on this left side compared to the right. So we're gonna be working on that. And then we'll check the neck. I'm gonna check the neck when you're seated. I'm gonna do a little bit of range of motion and see how that's working as well here, okay? Yep. So the main thing, so now with her, when I'm going through and I'm scanning the spine, going all the way through, one of the main things that I am noticing, so if I pull the spine out here, so a normal person, you want a nice healthy curve in that lumbar spine. You want the thoracic spine with that nice kyphosis. But then also back in that lumbar spine, you want that nice lordotic curve. What I'm noticing with her is that her spine is a little bit straighter. So she has a little bit of loss of curve in that low back, loss of curve in the thoracic, and then even some loss of curve in that upper cervical. So. These are just some areas when, when the spine isn't at the correct angle, it can put pressure on the nerves in different areas. So we're just gonna do you know, that general all over alignment today. So we wanna just regain that lumbar curve, even the thoracic, and then also that cervical spine. So that's gonna be the main picture of what we're doing here today. So as I'm gonna start, I always like to start up in the upper thoracic area that cervical thoracic junction. And that left side here was getting a little bit more tension. So let's go through. Good. I'm gonna go through on the right. There we go, getting some movement in there. Okay, so now I'm going into that th more in the middle thoracic spine. So we're gonna come through that spot that was feeling a little bit of a divot right through here. I'm gonna have the patient take a deep breath in and exhale all the way out. Wow. There we go, that got a lot of movement there. Let's scan down a little bit more. 
So I'm going to work on that left outside joint in just a second. One thing that I do want to see, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to put pressure down on your sacrum like this, uh -huh. and I want you to raise one leg at a time from here for me, okay? Okay. So I want you to raise that right leg up as high as you can. Is that as high as you can go? <laughs> okay. Is there any pain, tenderness, <laughs> tightness with that? It's just tight. It's just tight? Okay. okay. Raise the left side for me. All right, geez, you see how much higher that, that yeah. left side took off? Yeah. Okay. So what I'm gonna want you to do, one, I want you to slide down on the table for me. Keep, right there, perfect. So I want you to cross this right foot over that left foot. Good, yep, just like that. So we're gonna do some drops on that area. So what, what I'm checking for is I'm checking how that sacrum, how the sacral apex is pointing. Let me grab this spine here real quick. Actually, uncross your legs for just a second. So what I'm showing, so when she raised one leg up at a time, and as you could tell, her left leg just shot up in the air, her sacrum is pointing more towards that left side. So the ligaments and the muscles that attach all on this left side are a lot looser, whereas you tell the muscles and ligaments that are attaching on the right side are pulling a lot tighter, which are, is restricting her to raise that right leg. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna do drops to bring that sacrum back over in alignment here. Okay, now cross that right foot over the left. Good. Uncross. I'm gonna have you bend that knee for me. Bend the right knee, good. There we go. So what I want you to do, I want you to raise that right leg up as high as you can for me. Do you notice a difference? Oh, yeah. As Major. You, as you can tell just from that first time, that right leg was very restricted. So that's that adjustment that she really needed that unlocked those muscles and ligaments to enable her to raise that leg up a lot higher, just like the left one. All right, so what I want to have you do, because uh -huh. I still want to work on the cervical spine here, uh -huh. um, I'm going to have you sit up, and you can face this way, face the front over there. Uh. Whew. Okay. Okay. Mm. So I just want to check and see how the cervical spine, how, how things are moving throughout mm -hmm. here. Mm. Okay. Okay, look all the way over your shoulder that way. Good. All the way over your shoulder that way. Do you notice yourself looking further that way? I... What do you feel? I feel like I'm going this way, but this way... Watch how, do you notice, the, with this way, you're turning your entire shoulders like this. I'm just watching your neck move, not your entire... Okay. Thoracic spine. It's different. Correct. You it's, notice. I notice it's different. You notice I'm it's different. I, I, I know it's different from okay. here to here. Okay. So that's going to be the one so thing that I'm we're going to. Be, yep. Okay. Do you I notice see, how? Yeah. Just your neck moving. Yeah, I'm doing it in this one. Correct. Right. So this is what I'm going to be looking for. So I'm going to just have you relax. There we go. You okay. felt that probably all the way up I there, felt right? It, yes. Yeah, I can tell where that moved at. I can actually hear it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, that other side feels good. Let me just make sure. Get that one lower. Good. All right. What we're going to do now, we're going to do the wire strap. Okay. Okay. So this is a very powerful move. I'll take that from you. I'm going to have you sit with your knees bent off the table that side. Correct. So this wire strap, oh, pull your hair through for me. Yep. There we go, come on down. So the wire strap, what it's intended to do 
is our spines every day, every day, every day have gravity that push it down, push it down. What this is gonna do, we're going to distract in the y-axis direction, we're gonna take all that gravity and unload it. So we're gonna pull from up here, and you may be feeling the, the vertebra, you know, the cavitation, that popping, going all the way down to the lumbar spine, okay? Mm -hmm. So just depending on how hard I pull is how far you'll feel that go down, okay? Okay. I mean, I heard that from here. I heard that. I heard, I heard <laughs> you heard and you felt that. Oh. So yeah, that gets a ton of great motion there. That's a, yeah. oh, right? I felt a lot in there. It's like you loosened everything up. Good, good. Now, I know before you were saying your shoulder was a little bit of an issue. Yeah. How do you feel if you're to raise your arms up? What do you feel with your shoulders compared to? No, it feels good. Everything... Both feel good now? Yeah, I just, I, I. You loosen something up. That's that's all you do. You, 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 it's not there anymore. All right. So what she's trying to say. Well, what I look at as a chiropractor is our nerves that go down into the shoulder and go all the way down into the hand. Those nerves are stemming from the neck. So when doing the adjustments in the neck and when doing that Y strap and pulling that apart. What that's doing is it's removing pressure off of these nerves here so the body can, the, the, the function can perform optimally. So what was happening is she wasn't actually having an issue with the shoulder. There was no type of impingement in the actual shoulders. She's having an issue in her neck that she was feeling a referred pain in her shoulder. But when we remove the subluxation in her neck, yeah. her shoulders are now able to function as they should. Yeah, it feels just, it feels nice. I guess that's all I can say. It feels good. You feel almost a tension, that stress just it's feels... It's just good. I don't exactly. feel... <laughs> no. No, that's not how you should feel. No. Alrighty, so this is how I do my full spine, full body adjustments. Um, very, you know, stress relieving, tension relieving, mm -hmm. and this is, uh, I'm going to imagine one happy customer. Yes, so you want, yes, I'm a happy customer. <laughs> All right, so if you're interested in getting care, I know I've had a lot of people that have reached out to me. Um, I'm now with Palmetto Physical Medicine, located in Greenville, South Carolina. Um, Monday through Fridays, I'll be out of an actual office, not just doing the traveling chiropractic. Um, and the link on this video, I'll have my email address on there. So if you do want to set up an appointment, we'll be able to go from there. So as you can tell, I'll be there. <laughs> she'll be there. I'm Dr. Joseph Cipriano.